love of me Run through the land You run through my soul Bring me wisdom and peace Run through all ages And all of life stages You bring me around To find my release This is Jan Lewis. Welcome to be my guest today. We have Ron Rosenstock with us, and he is a well. He's a world traveled photographer, and he has been. He'll tell you Iceland, Ireland, right? Welcome, Ron. Ron, when did you start your interest in photography? I'm, uh -oh. I'm, <laughs> I, I always feel uncomfortable answering that, only because uh, I think I'm, I'm older than most people think I am. But I, I actually got started back in, I would say, junior high school, about 1957. Okay. Yeah. And um, you know, I I, uh, I did a lot of photography during junior high and high school, and mm -hmm. then into college. And uh, of course, when I got my driver's license, things kind of slowed down a bit, you know. But yeah. then I I got back into it. And um, my first real kind of serious uh, class was in 1967, and that was uh, with Minor White, who taught at MIT, uh, you know, back then. So it goes back a few years. Now, were you born and raised in the Holden area? Uh, no, New York. Oh, I, New York? I'm, 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 I'm in New York. You're in New York. I'm in New York. What part of New York yeah. were you from? Actually, um, I, I, I actually, I grew up in Monticello, which yeah. um, this years ago, uh, before the the New York Thruway went in, I mean, oh. Route 17 used to go there, so it was kind of the Catskills, yeah. you know, um, and uh, then uh, during the war, we moved to the Bronx. The Bronx? The Bronx. That's so, quite a... <laughs> well, my father got a, a, a job down there. So I know what we, that's we like, you go there. where dad's going, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. the family moved to the Bronx, and... Um, and uh, we, I grew up then, uh, when I was like maybe uh, seven or eight, we moved to Long Island. Long Island? So near I Huntington by any chance? Where? My, near Huntington? Um, I have a, a nephew who lives there. I had a college um, roommate from Huntington. Yeah, yeah. No, this, this was New Hyde Park, which was in the Great Neck School District. You have had photographers and collections at the Peabody Essex Museum. Yes. How long has it been there? The Fog Art Museum, Worcester. You're at the Worcester Art Museum. I had a big show at the Worcester Art Museum in 2011. In fact, there was a big billboard on I-290 back uh, in 2011. Well, I stay away from 290. So, <laughs> I don't like the highway. That's why I don't I like 290 it. either. Oh, put it on Route 9 or 140. We'll always see it. 140 is much, much, much more scenic. And he, Ron has been honored at over 100 exhibits in the United States and Europe yeah. and has been a member of the U.S. State Department Art for Embassies program yes. since 1998. And you have published six books of photographs. So we're going to take a look at these. Choose which one you want to hold up here first. Well, okay, let's start at the bottom of the pile. All right. I didn't bring them all because okay. I know we only have a half an hour. Yeah. Um, this book called Him to the Earth. And uh, because of this book, I had my exhibition... At the uh, oh, uh, okay, <laughs> sorry about that, folks. Go for it, Ron. Yeah. I, I had an exhibition at the Worcester Art Museum based on on this. When uh, was that? And, when and, was uh, that? The the exhibition was in 2011. Okay. And they think my little box here of goodies. This was a uh, a catalog that the museum published of my my work. Oh. You know, um, had a number of, 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 of photographs in the catalog. And the show was held over uh, about six months, in fact. It was a very, very popular show in the Worcester area. Did you make some sales? Made a lot of sales. Collectors from Boston mostly came out. Um, people came to the Worcester Art Museum who never came before. Yeah. And um, I uh, hate to pat myself on the back, but I, but I will here. I got them connected uh, with WGBH. And they're and they're now kind of working with GBH, and uh, I brought Jared Bowen out here, who, yeah. who does the uh, you know the art show on, on GBH, yeah. and uh, he interviewed me, and that was on the Emily Rooney Nightly News. Oh and, uh, yeah. But it started a whole thing between GBH and the Art Museum, which, which I'm very happy to have. Yeah, who's started. are you the one who writes these little inserts? No, now th this is another interesting kind of coincidence. Okay. I have a, a, a friend whose name is Gabriel yeah. Rosenstock. Same name as you. No Pat relation Weston. whatsoever. Are you kidding me? Born in Ireland. Uh, his father was from Germany, uh, who was a, a, a very well-known doctor yeah. in Ireland. It's, I know we only have a half an hour, but I can tell you a lot of stories. I'll tell you very quickly. When I first went to Ireland in 1970, yeah. the, 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 the immigration officer said to me, oh, are you related to Dr. Rosenstock? Yeah. Uh, when I went to the car, they said, oh, are you related to Dr. Rosenstock? Yeah, Gabriel's father was very well known. Yeah. 
you know, uh, but Gabriel is a very well-known poet in Ireland. He's published, uh, I think, 120 books, mostly in the Irish language. And um, how did you two hook up with your photography? We hooked up because of an editor of uh, an Irish magazine called Ireland of the Welcomes, mm -hmm. and I submitted a portfolio of photographs to them. And they, uh, the, the editor said, oh, you uh, should contact Gabriel Rosenstock because he writes haiku and, and poetry yeah. to my kind of photography. That's an unusual last name. Are you sure? Are you two both positive you're not related? What's the odds? Uh, well, I can tell you 100% we're not related. Okay. Um, I mean, w w uh, his uncle was in the Luftwaffe, and, and oh, okay. you know, so we're not related. <laughs> oh. Let me tell you, uh, and he could trace his family back to the 1500s. Wow, you know, and I can't really go back more than World War II. Wow, you know, so we're not related, but we are the best of friends. I'll mm -hmm. see him in March. In fact, he lives in Dublin, but he'll come to visit me. I'll be back in Ireland. Uh, my home is sort of on the west coast. <laughs> so, uh, you don't live out here? Uh, I had a home in Ireland, uh, but I mean, I, I, my home away from home is still Westport in west County Mayo. I'm oh, an honorary wow. citizen of the town there, and I yeah. march every year in the St. Paddy's Day Parade. And so, if they don't, so. that's all in California, right? Or where is that? Is uh, that in Ireland? Uh, yeah, yeah. County but they don't Mayo. kick you out like they do in Scotland. They nah. track you down. You can only visit. <laughs> well, I, I had a house there for a long time, and um, okay, you're you're established. I'm very established, but I I just do these two week tours now yeah, in Ireland. Yeah. So I'll be there. I have about three tours planned just for Ireland next year. This year. Show us this. This is from Iceland. Well, right? I have uh, Greenland. Greenland. I have. Uh, I brought a, a few photographs to show you. I hope you don't have too much reflection. Let me try it. On oh, this. This is uh, one of the icebergs. I predict that Greenland is going to become very popular for tourists uh, in the next few years. Why? Iceland is 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 like over touristy right now, and I love Iceland. I've I've good friends in Iceland, and I, and often I do one trip a year there. Um, Greenland has this is more exciting yeah. uh, in a way with the icebergs and glaciers that you, you don't really find, and it's not touristy at all. No. Not all. This is like taken. Did we want a cruise when you took this? On a boat. Yeah, yeah, we go out on, on a boat. We oh. have a, a, a really comfortable boat we go out on. Yeah, this was taken about 10 o'clock at night in the town of Nuuk. That's N-U-U-K on the west coast of Greenland, and it's the capital of, of Greenland. Mm -hmm. so we get northern lights, and this was like uh, in September. With that beautiful green in it. Yeah, the sky just glows during you know, the aurora. What Boreal time of night was this? It was about 10 o'clock at night. It wasn't all that late. Again, from a ship. No, 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 no. Well, that was, that was a fifteen-minute walk from my hotel, just walking um, a little bit down towards the shore. So that was that was on land. It's beautiful. So I could we're Set talking up. again with Ron Rosenstock, and he is a world traveler photographer. He this is quite a treat. Show us some more. Okay. Ooh, well, look at the horse. Where is that? Uh, this is the Olsen Farm. So it's kind of a. Uh, I got a quick little story. Uh, this is now owned. This is where. Um, there's a famous painting by Andrew Wyeth called Christina's World. Yes, and she's kind of like looking up. Look, yeah, that's right. Yep, I think my I, mother had that. Yeah. I call this photograph Christina's World Revisited. And I was up there on a foggy morning. It's in Cushing, Maine. Yeah. And uh, this is when I was doing large format. And that means it's, it's a big negative and I had to be under a dark cloth to focus. And as I'm focusing on this foggy, beautiful right. building, I'm right. thinking to myself, wouldn't it be great if I had something dark in the foreground? And as I'm under the dark cloth, this horse wanders, I don't know where he came from. He heard you. He <laughs> must have heard me and, <laughs> and, and positions himself perfectly. Because if I had started to move the tripod and the, you know, oh. like the horse would you have moved, scared I, him. I would have missed it. Yeah. And there I was totally set up. And I just put the film holder in, I made this one exposure. And that was up in Maine. Yes, Cushing, Maine. Is it anywhere near Portland? South Portland. North of Portland. I was born in South Portland. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll be judging a show and talking up there next month. In fact. Oh my! This looks like a real what seventeen hundred or eighteen hundred house you've got on this. That's pretty old. I know that some of the Olson Farm and is owned now by the Farnsworth Museum. You know, from Rockland. I've heard of that. Have you have you exhibited at Farnsworth Museum? No, I haven't. No. Is that, you said Rockland? Rockland, yeah. Rockland, Mass. Or Rockland no, no, Maine? Rockland, Maine. Okay. Rockland, right. Maine. Yeah, just south of Camden. Yep. Yeah. What? Well, thank you, horse, for being. He just yeah. stepped right in and had a picture just of him. Just stepped right in there. <laughs> now, yeah. These books are gorgeous, by the way. I mean, you, you, 
you publish them, you get them out there published, right? Yes, yes, yeah, Him to the Earth. Uh, I, I, I have seven books. I didn't bring them all because we'd spend the whole time talking about books. Right. But this is from many different countries that I work in, uh, all done with large format film. Is that Japan, by any? No, no, that's, that's mm -hmm. South Island, New Zealand. Okay. Um, Mount Cook in the background. Oh, Morocco? Morocco. Do you like Morocco? I you love go? Morocco. I'm going there uh, January 16th, uh, next what? What, nine days, something like that. Oh my God! You're going to be there for how long? I'll be there till February first. I have a full group going with me. It'll be my twentieth trip to Morocco. To Morocco. Do you I, go alone, or does your wife go with you? Uh, it's 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 business. I mean, yeah. um, she she has uh, other things to be doing. Yeah. You know, so when I'm home, I'm a hundred percent home. Yeah. Did you know in high school, whatever, that you wanted to go into photography? Uh, I loved photography. I didn't really know what I wanted to go in in high school. M most people, you know, at that age, yeah. uh, they don't really know what they really want to do. Did you go to college right after? I went to Nichols College in Dudley. Yeah, business. A business, uh, you know, which helped a lot. Yeah. I must say, you know, marketing and advertising, no matter what you do in life, you have to know about marketing. you got to publicize yourself. Uh, you, you have to. Ron, how can they reach you if they're interested in having you come speak? Or uh, Well, uh, I guess the easiest way would be to email me. It's just ronrosenstock at charter.net. That's pretty easy. ronrosenstock at charter.net. And do you just go to museums, or would you consider other alternatives if they wanted to have you come? Well, I do many different things, first of all. I do, uh, like, one-day uh, mat-cutting workshops, and, and sometimes we squeeze it into, like, four hours, like Bay Path vo uh, Regional Vocational Technical School. I yeah. do a class for them, and we squeeze it into, like, uh, in evening hours. Yeah. Uh, the Concord Center for Visual Arts, I do a full-day workshop. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, Providence uh, Art Club, I do workshops mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And, in, in fact, I'm, I'm taking a, a group to... Uh, um, to Ireland from the, the Providence Art Club. You're going to take from the, the school kids or the club? No, the, the club itself, the adults, the artists. It, we, we, it, we've designed a slightly different kind of trip, so we're going we're gonna to visit many of my friends yeah. who are Irish artists yeah. in their studios. So Irish artists could be meeting American artists and all painters, uh, I mean, not all, most painters like to paint from photographs when yeah. they're on trips. Right. So. I will be teaching how to make more meaningful photographs. On this trip? Yes, which I do on all my trips, but especially for painters, you see, who will be able then to, when they get back to the States, will be able to make paintings from their photographs. So if there's interest in the trip, contact Strabo Tours. Yeah, yeah. I'll give them a plug, 607-756-8676, www.phototc.com. Yeah, photo Now, how much, is, how much is the trip? Uh, most of my, this is a little under 3,000. Okay. You know, um. It for, provides them place to stay. Oh, everything. everything. Transportation, everything. everything but airfare, really. Yeah. And, and there are a couple meals on our own because there's so many choices for restaurants. You know, with that photo TC, mm. um, this has my, my schedule. I do a lot of traveling, a lot of trips. Uh, last month I was in Japan. I do a, a fascinating trip, uh, to Japan from, uh, Tokyo, uh, to Kyoto, uh, um, Niyajima mm -hmm. Island, um, um, Mount K Khorasan, like the whole kind yeah. of south coast of Japan. What is Santori? Torini? S Santorini. Yeah. Santorini is an island in the Aegean Sea. It's, it's okay. Greece. It's a Greek island. Sounds Italian. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's an ancient island. In fact, they say that's where Atlantis was. Look at all these places you go. Yes. What is, where is Vinyl Haven? Vinyl Haven. Vinyl Haven. <laughs> Vinyl Haven. I, I do a, a, a one-week um, workshop in Vinyl Haven. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's an island off the coast of Maine. Uh, we take the ferry from Rockland, which is just yeah. south of Camden. Yeah. And it's an hour and 15-minute ferry ride. It's a beautiful little island. With, and I, I've been going there for family vacations for about 40 years, so I know the so island well. So it exists. Well. I've never heard of it. So well, that's good. Uh, that's why it's not so crowded. <laughs> so, anyway. But it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And, and we stay in a, in a wonderful uh, place. It's called the Tidewater Motel that is literally built over the tide. Yeah. The, the, the ocean comes in underneath, underneath it, and it goes under the road to us called Carver's Pond on What the happens other side. if there's a storm and the waters rise? Well, the hotel's pretty high. It goes pretty high. It's pretty high, uh, but you hear the rushing sound of, of the ocean, so you sleep very well. Ron, do you, know. you, do you do teaching where you live? Do you teach? You're not I, home very much. 
Uh, I well, I do one day workshops. Mm -hmm. You know, many different places. Um, I have one coming up in what's called um, Coastal Maine Botanical Gardens. I, once a, for the last couple of years, I've been doing that, and I'll be doing that again. I think in June. Um, I, I've just had a several one day workshops. Sure. Now I have a class that meets at my studio Sunday nights in Holden. In Holden, but. It's not open to, to uh, I mean, the only way you get into that class, I hate to say this, if somebody dies. In other words, the same people. Yeah, the I've same been, people. I, the for, same people oh. for like as many as 40 years now. Nobody There's no more leaves. room for one or two more? No. Oh, I bet that would be wonderful. There's to no do. room. And, and people bring their work and, yeah. and we talk about it. And, uh, you know, I help them with their photography. Yeah. So that's a, on a regular basis. Now, if someone wanted to take a class with me, yeah. uh, another place where I teach, uh, I do a week workshop at the Worcester Center for Crafts. Oh, I've heard of that big time. I've yeah. heard a lot of good things yeah, about that place. Yeah, it's a great place. place. I actually got my start in Worcester. I lived in Cambridge yeah. uh, back in the 60s, but I got a job teaching at the Worcester Center for Crafts in 1969. Yeah. And I was there for about 10 years before I went to Clark. My yeah. grandfather went to Clark. Way before you, my before friend. Me. 1908. <laughs> before <laughs> me. <laughs> Definitely before me. Did you me. graduate from Clark? No, no. Okay. But I taught there um, as, as adjunct faculty from 1970 to the year 2000. Wow. I was in the photography department there. That's when we had a wet, dark room. Yeah. And I taught uh, the zone system, which was a, a method of exposure control to pre-visualize the photograph. It was sort of based on a, a system that Ansel Adams had developed. And Have you thought of going on? You mentioned a, a trade school right here in Upton. It's the Blackstone Valley uh, BVT Trade uh, High School right up Technical High School, right up the road. Oh. I bet they'd love to meet you. I, I could send them uh, a copy of the page from the other technical school in Charlton, from Bay Path, to let them know what I do. And or it, stop it, it, by. It, it it's like, what, three minutes, two minutes up yeah, the road. Uh, Blackstone Valley Technical High School. Yeah. Right on uh, Pleasant Street. You can't. It's the only one. Well, there's one opposite, but it's not technical. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Because well, this, you could help teach the kids. Sure. Why not? It's, it's, there's always a problem of, of, of fitting things in. Yeah. But yeah. you never know. I no, mean, it, it's, it's not that far for you to go, no, right? 45 no. minutes? 45 minutes is a very easy drive. And it's do you nice do it drive. all by yourself? All your traveling, all your shows? Well, um, uh, they, I mean, all the tours are run by this company, Strabo Tours. Strabo, yeah. You know, uh, and, and, you know, Photo TC is the website for that. And I'm one of about 20 photo leaders you know, who works for this company, yeah. and we've been doing that for many, many years, and right. they have tours all over the world. You know, I work in, in maybe six or seven different countries, but mm -hmm. we have far, far more. Um, <clears throat> but for my exhibitions and my, uh, my one-day workshops, I, I pretty much do it on my own. However, uh, <laughs> to expand upon that, I started something else a few years ago that I'm really enjoying. I do travelogue presentations at assisted living places. Oh, I bet they love it. I'm doing one tomorrow at uh, Christopher Heights in Webster, Mass. I think there's also one in Worcester. There is. Yes. There is, yeah, yeah. and I, I've done uh, probably a few dozen, you know, in yeah. the area, and I now have a, a, a woman who sort of represents me, Is um, Linda Spragna is her name, and um, so she actually is sort of my agent for these uh, talks that sure. I give now. Just mm -hmm. I just don't have the time to promote myself, and yeah. so you know she she enjoys doing that. And so uh, she's, well, how uh, how is that received when you go to assisted living? Are they pretty happy to see you? These people are the best audience you can imagine. Yeah, these people are the most appreciative of any audience. These people are generally well traveled, yeah. you know, but have reached that stage in life where mm -hmm. traveling becomes more difficult. Sure. And, um, you know, I, my travelogues are places where people have been, like I'm doing Italy tomorrow. Yeah. You know, people, so many people have been to Italy at some yeah. stage in their life, you yeah, know, sure. and, and uh, my... I would think senior centers, too, Ron. I do, the, that's another, I do There's senior centers. There's a lot, centers. every town almost has every one. Every town. I've done the Worcester Senior Center a few times, uh, the Holden Senior Center every year. Yeah. I was just hired by um, uh, Briarwood uh, Assisted Living. Um, to do a talk every two months for the next year. That's up in Worcester. Yes. Is that off of Mountain? Yes. Well, Mountain West Street. Mountain I've been Street. by that. Yeah, yeah, by the mosque. Yeah, the exactly. The mosque. Yeah. yeah, and it's on the right. You pass the mosque yeah. on the left and it's up on the That's right. That's right. That looks like a really nice place. It's a beautiful place. I, I, I mean, I'm of the age where I now have friends who live there. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're talking so. with 
John Rosenstock, and he is a world traveled photographer. But I don't want to not what, show us some more. Oh, of your well, work. okay. <laughs> the light, you want to hold it? Cause sure. That'd be great. Yeah, the light of Ireland. And I started going to Ireland in 1970. Um, in fact, I have an exhibition of my photographs from Ireland coming up in uh, Worcester. It'll be the month of April at a gallery called the Sprinkler Factory. I've heard of this. It's a, what it's, street is that It's on? at Harlow Street, which is off of Lincoln Street, kind of around the corner from the museum almost. Okay. It's, it's, it's just past the exit, that uh, the, off, that was the on-ramp to 290 on Lincoln Street. Just past that, you go under a railroad tunnel, and it's bingo, there. it's right there. So you'll the have an exhibit then. You'll be there. I'll, I'll be there the month of April. April, okay. And uh, I'll have an exhibit of some sort of vintage photographs uh, that I did in the 1970s and 80s and 90s, all large format, but uh, uh, from the west of Ireland. Did you know Jim Wailu when he was there? Jim and I oh. uh, go back many, many years. Yeah. Um, he's giving a talk at the Holden Senior Center. Uh, and uh, sometime in February, I, I think it's February 16th, I'll see him there. Mm -hmm. uh, when I had my exhibition at the Worcester Art Museum, yeah. Jim was, it was that transition period. Yeah, there's uh, a new president. Yeah, right yes, yes, uh, yeah, Matthias. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so Matthias, I, yeah. uh, I know M M Matthias, Matthias, yeah, yeah, yeah. but Jim and I go back a long time. We were on uh, the Cultural Arts Committee at Bancroft School right. uh, maybe 30 years ago, a long time ago. So yeah. I've known Jim for a long, long time. I interviewed time. him in Northbridge about 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, he's a great guy. He looks great. He hasn't changed. I'm so telling honey, you. Honey, honey has. has. She was on the show, too. And she's still, she's, she, she retired? just retired. Just retired. She, well, she retired about a year ago. Yeah. You know, and she's enjoying Ooh. life. And, uh, <laughs> she was she was a good sport. I see, I see her at different openings, you know, around Worcester. Isn't she doing um? In fact, she gave me one, clay, clay modeling or something like that. She gave me it when she was on here a few years back. She gave me a molded clay pot she'd made. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, she's, she's doing She's really that. into the arts big time. Uh, well, and again, she's, she's how could people get a hold of you? Well, the, the easiest way... And I respond to emails like <laughs> Good, I, yes. wherever, wherever I am in the world. Mm -hmm. I respond to email yeah. at my name, which is Ron mm -hmm. Rosenstock uh, at charter dot net. Right, and, and he's a busy and, guy, and so you know. Oh yeah, he's not ignoring you, but he's got a, You've got a schedule like that. This oh, week, I do. Well, like, you're like, leaving like, for like, where are you leaving? Underneath here, by the way, we have uh, Iceland. Oh yeah, another another one of my books. And uh, again, we could have spent the whole time on books. I have a book yeah. in Italy, and I have another book called Journeys of All mm -hmm. Color Work. I have lots of lots of books because because I've been doing it many years. Yeah. Ansel Adams was pretty cool. He was a very very good person. Uh, yeah. I, I met him probably the early seventies, a few years before he passed away. Yeah. He came to Boston and and gave a lecture at Boston University. How old was he when he passed away? I think early eighties. Young by these standards. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I'm almost there. No know. way. Almost, not quite. I'm, uh, I'll be 80 in about four years. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have kids? Do you have children? I have grown grandchildren. Uh, one of my grandchildren, um, is a, Jen, is a, a, a maternity ward uh, nurse yeah. in, in the uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital. Good Another hospital. grandchild is a, uh, a buyer for the paper store. You know that chain? Yep. They're, they're, they're all, they are all they have their degrees and they're all grown. And yeah, my eldest cool. daughter is 50. Your daughter is fifty. My eldest daughter is fifty. I got. Well, your younger daughter is how old? Oh, the, oh, the younger one is, I think, forty-one. She's okay. just a kid. Yeah. Well, my son's twenty-seven. <laughs> he, by the way, has. I don't know if viewers know, but I, I talk about him, and my son finally emailed me and said, "You know, mom, they must just think I'm a phantom, Wally. I'm just a phantom. I'm like, we'll get you on. I did. I thought he was camera shy. He says, no, I'll go.'" <laughs> Ron, thank you. We're going to have you back, and we'll probably have you uh, book you for longer than a half an hour. Uh, his work is gorgeous, and if you want to catch him, he's going to be the next one is in April, and it's where again? Uh, at the Sprinkler Factory in Worcester. In Worcester, but right now at this moment, yeah. um, in the Auburn Public Library. Oh, I could go there. I, I when have, did that start? I hung it yesterday. No wonder I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> but uh, I have work there. Um, I have an arrangement with them uh, where I'll, every two months I'm going to change the exhibit for the next 12 months. So there's going to be continuous exhibits all oh, year wow. at, at the Auburn Public Library. That is amazing. And right now it's called Light is My Palette. 
Mm. And it uh, has to do with my philosophy of photography. And you How know, about Holden Library? Light. It's right in your own hometown. I've shown at Holden Library many, many, many times, but not not, not all that uh, recently. Yeah. But uh, in past years, many, many times. Mm. And I also have a show right now. Um, it's called High Key Photography, mm. meaning like lighter, bright tones. And that's at the uh, the Worcester JCC on Salisbury Street. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah, so up from Assumption. How yeah. about Worcester, before we close, Worcester Library? They've got two big rooms for showing things. I've shown there. You but have? Not in, uh, m maybe about five years ago. They're pretty good. I had a big exhibition in the Worcester Public. Which, which side, when you walk in, left or right? I, I, had, a bi I, I had both. I had, like, I had, I had so much work, I filled the whole place. Oh, my gosh. Thank yeah. you for being with us. We're going to well, try to get him pleasure. back again. He's so busy. How do you catch him? It's like Mercury. <laughs> How do you get him? Thank you, Ron. Well, thanks, Yan. All righty. We'll pleasure. see you next time. would be my guest.